what's going on guys welcome back to the channel um, this is gonna be our new comic book day haul for August 14th this is gonna be everything we picked up yesterday and um, we were able to go to two different shops again yesterday uh, we don't always get to do that but that was super fun yesterday so this is gonna be silver wolf this is gonna be my primary LCS um, this one this is the one where my pull box is set up and I normally go in there at least every week um, let me see are these some of these. This is unnatural. I don't know why this red cover though. I really like this red cover. That shit's pretty fire. Um, this one's issue seven. So I had some of these unnatural run. I think it was in the first haul video that I did. Uh, so these are some of the older ones that I've picked up to kind of complete that run. I think I almost have all of them now. I think I'm only missing like one or two. Um, this one is the one that actually came out yesterday. This is issue number 12. This is going to be the last issue in that series. Um, I think this is the B cover, the variant cover. And then this is issue 2. Came in in my pool. Uh, the shop owner over there has been trying to hunt some of these down for me, so I'm super appreciative of that. I thought this, this cover was pretty sick, too. You see that? Boom, 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 boom. That light's kind of messing me up, but if I turn it that way, you guys can see it pretty good. Sick. Okay. And then also, issue number three. I thought that one was pretty cool. That black, black and white cover with a little bit of blue in there. I think this one's the second print, though. I, don't, I think this is the only one out of all of them that I got that is a second print but that's all right I'm just really getting these for the story anyways picked up Hellboy this is uh this is issue number one I believe this is the 25th anniversary edition um, there's even like a little uh, COA in the back about like where you picked it up from the, when you bought it and all that kind of stuff I thought that was pretty cool so I picked that one up too um, all right here we got scream number one this did come out yesterday this is uh this is the young guns variant i can't remember what cover it is i think it's cover c but i know for sure it's the young gun variant i thought this one was the best one out of all the different covers they had i don't know that cover a just didn't do it for me i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments below but i just that cover a i didn't really didn't really care for it and I think I, I, I went heavy on these ones too. I think I got like four or five of these because I thought this cover was going to be super hot. And it's, had, I checked eBay uh, earlier this morning. It wasn't really doing anything. There was one cover, I think it was the D cover. I didn't even see that one anywhere. That one was doing pretty well. Um, these ones were in my box, but I had ordered these a while back. This was from the Death Defying Devil, the number one. Um, these were just all the different variant covers I got. I got this one. There was a lot of hot artists on these, but I can't remember which ones were which. Uh, there's that cover. I'm trying to figure out a good spot to set this where the light's just not like totally destroying the cover. And like right there, that's a pretty fire spot. All right, sick. Uh, and this is the last one that I picked up. Boom. I haven't read this one or anything. I literally just got this one because it was issue number one and I thought there was a lot of good um, artists like on all the covers, like all of them were like hot, hot covers. So I just picked, I just ordered all of them, I believe when I first did it. Um, this one is the separation anxiety. So this one I think is just a one shot that goes along with the whole absolute carnage uh, line that's coming out. Um, but this one I think is just, like I said, just a one shot. So I picked that one up as well. Rota Bones, Rota Bones number four. This one came out yesterday. I'm still trying to track down issues one through three. Um, I believe they're on order from my LCS. So he said he could get them. So they should be coming in soon. I heard this series was, was super good, but I haven't read any of it yet. And then I picked up Amazing Spider-Man number 27. Uh, this one I purely picked up just because it has all the girls on the front. 
Um, I think the B cover on this one was pretty fire, but I picked this one up instead because it has all of them on the front. I thought that was pretty cool. That light is destroying me. Boom, that one's cool though. And then I got Symbiote Spider-Man number five. I think this is the last one. I think this one was just a five series. Um, and I was, I was able to get all the rest of them already. So this one should be the last one. And then of course we got Silver Surfer Black. I was able to pick that one up. This is the variant cover. This is the B cover. Um, the A cover was, was pretty fire too. I think I picked that one up at the other, uh, at my other LCS. So that one should be in the next stack, but this one was pretty cool. And Donnie Cates, um, Bill was saying on his channel, Bill from Economics and Comics, he was saying Donnie Cates always does some crazy stuff with issues three, with, with issue threes. So that's not the only reason I picked that one up. I'm actually reading that series. I have uh, one and two as well, but you know, just an added bonus, right? And this is this one, I don't know if you guys saw my last couple videos, but I picked up, I think, I think this is on issue five or six, like currently. And I've been able to pick up like random issues here or there. And I believe this is issue one. This is the only one that I was missing. So I found that one there in like one of the old bins. So I picked that one up too. All right, so this is gonna be, you know what? Actually, let me, I forgot I got these ones. The best ones, guys, I forgot these ones. These are the best ones. So that one I actually picked up over there. So over at Silver Wolf, when I went there yesterday, I was adding some stuff to my polls, um, you know, taking some stuff off, ordering some first issues, just trying to get, you know, all my stuff in order over there. And I just asked them, I said, hey man, um, I know it's not likely, but once and future, number one. I was like, what print are we on? Cause I know I heard somebody saying that they're already on third print, that you could still order the third print. And I was like, I don't even care about first print, whatever. That'd be super awesome to get a first print. But I was like, I'll just take the third print. I just want to read the story and see what the hype's all about. You know what I mean? Cause a lot of people are hyping this book up and I don't know if it's just reader buzz or if this thing's been optioned or something like that for a movie or a show or something. But um, for it to come out yesterday and already be on the third print, I was just like, something's got to be going on. So I want to at least check it out. Right. So he went to order it and he was like, dude, they're already on fourth print. Like third prints already sold out too. I was like, dang, they're on fourth print. So, and there was no cover that cause the third print, I wanted to get it just because I thought the cover was pretty fire for the third print. Right. So, but he said there, they didn't show on there what the cover looked like for the fourth print, but I just ordered it anyways. And then as I was like tallying up everything and ringing up, he go, he's like, you know what? I'll be back in a second. And he goes out to the back and he comes back with this. What? I don't know how well you guys can see that. I hope you guys can see that pretty good. Um, so this is once in future issue number one. This is the one per store variant. The one per store variant. I don't know how many stores there are in the United States. I would think a couple thousand, maybe 3,000. I, I mean, honestly, I don't know. But I would think that this is very limited. I wouldn't think there's that many. And like I said, they were one per store. So he actually ordered this for himself. I mean, guys, right? He ordered this for himself. He had it in the back. He comes out, he goes, here you go. Here you go. I was like, um, what? He's like, yeah, he's all, that's okay. He's all, he's always, I, I was gonna read it, but uh, he's like, you know, being in this business or whatnot, he's like, I'll come across another one. I was like, man, you do not have to do that, right? I was like, no, 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 I don't wanna take your book. But that's how awesome that LCS is right there. I mean, my pool box will forever stay at that store as long as they're open, just because of stuff like that. So shout out to Silver Wolf. That's super awesome. I'm so appreciative of that. But uh, that was probably made my day yesterday was picking this one up. So I'm rambling on guys, but this fire, uh, this cover is fire. I mean, I didn't even know they had this cover, honestly. All the videos and other YouTube guys and stuff. Sorry guys, I have to hold that way on an angle because the light's really bad. But um, that was <laughs> super awesome. So I was, I was very, very happy about that.
Okay, so now to uh, the east side LCS. So this one, uh, Silver Surfer, The Prodigal Son, issue number one. I didn't even know this was coming out. Um, yeah, I didn't know anything about this. I watched a lot of channels um, of guys doing like stuff that's coming out and stuff. I don't remember seeing anything on this. Maybe I just missed it, I don't know. But issue number one, Silver Surfer, I was like, yeah, we'll check it out, right? So pick that one up. No one's number one. So I think on our last video, our last haul video, we picked up issue number two. I slept on this on issue number one. I, did, I wasn't able to get it, wasn't able to find it anywhere. And uh, just going through some of the bins, um, some of the stuff, they get so much stuff in there, it's kind of unorganized in there right now. Um, and this was just in a random spot and I found it. I was like, oh, number one. You know, no one's number one, so pick that up. Uh, Collapser number two. I picked up the first one. Uh, haven't had a chance to read it yet. I don't know how good this book actually is, but I was like, I already picked up the first one. I'll pick up the second one. Probably even pick up the third one, and then after that, I'll read all of them and see if it's any good to see if I'm going to keep collecting that series. And we got Wonder Woman. I think this is issue 76. Yeah, 76. Uh, I just got this one solely because I thought the, the cover was fire. I mean. Look at that, man. Sick. It's pretty, pretty fire cover. Pick that one up. So again, just going through some random uh, bins and stuff back there. This one, uh, Killer Groove, issue number one. Um, I know there was another cover where they had um, like some rails or some lines of not approved substances in the shape of a guitar head that was so supposed to be uh, controversial. Um, that's not this cover obviously, but still Killer Groove issue number one, so I picked it up. This is the Silver Surfer Black. This is the, the normal cover, the A cover, so this is the other one I picked up. Me personally, I actually like this cover better, but I didn't know, I didn't know if they were gonna have this one at the other one, so I just picked it up. And then, of course, we got Powers of X, number uh, two. I think I got three covers on this one, so I was able to get this one. This is like the decades variant. Um, and this is like the, this is the Weaver variant. It's pretty sick. I think this one is the fav my favorite out of the ones I got. I know there's some like connecting variant ones that are super fire, but I didn't see any of those. I think they had a set, because I have, you can't see them, but it's up there a little bit higher. I have the Brooks connecting variant for number one, um, but they had a connecting variant over there for the second issues, um, but it was like 50 bucks or something. I was like, yeah, I'm not paying that, so passed on that one. And then this one I think is just the cover A. This one's pretty sick too, I liked it. So I picked that one up too. And then, um, if you're watching some of our other videos, we've been trying to collect the Batman Turtles um, Volume 3. Um, so I picked this one up. This is issue three. We had issues two and four from the last haul. Um, so I found three and I also found the, the B cover, or the yeah, the B cover for issue three as well. So we picked both of those up. So now the only one that we're missing is just the issue one. And I can almost guarantee that LCS has them in there somewhere. But there's so many boxes to go through in there. A lot of times I don't, unfortunately, don't have a lot of time to go through them. But I'm gonna try to hunt those ones down for sure. And then some of the big ones for me at this shop. So I told you about Once in Future. I didn't think, I was super, super stoked to get the B cover one from Silver Wolf. Shout out again, so awesome. I can't get over that, dude. I just, I feel like that's so awesome. But I was actually able to pick up the A cover as well. Super surprised, they had it. Um, I was gonna say they just had it on the shelf, but they didn't. They actually had it behind the counter. You had to ask for them, and they had them limit one per customer. So guys, if you ever go into your LCSs and you don't see something on the shelf, always ask. Just ask, it doesn't hurt, right? So I was able to pick that one up too. It's, I mean, it's, this is a fire cover too. I mean, it's awesome. You got Granny in the back with the shotgun. I don't know. 
I really want to read it, but now that the book has kind of gone up, I've seen this one on eBay already, I think for like $12, $15. The B1, this one, I wanted to sell it so bad, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. I wanted to sell this one so bad because I've been spending so much money on comic books. Um, Cause I think this one's already going for like 70 to $80 the last time I checked on eBay. Um, but because Silver Wolf just gave it to me out of his own kind of collection, I just, I'm gonna keep that book forever. I'm, I'll never sell it. Um, but now I, I'm, I don't really want to read it either because I don't want to open it and get any spy increases or anything like that. So now it's like I can't really read the story. But I did order the, the fourth print. So whenever that comes in, I'm just going to read that one. Um, and then also found this one. Super surprised to find this one as well. I know this one is kind of sold out everywhere. I don't know if this one is hot as the once in future, but... It's still pretty fire. I really like this cover A. Um, this is the Watcher issue one for those of that you know haven't seen it. Um, this is for Z from Xenoscope. It's supposed to be a really interesting story. This one I will read. Um, but yeah, that's pretty fire cover. And then also, man, these were just on the shelf, dude. I was so surprised. I also got the B cover, which this one is absolute fire. Oh my goodness, look at this. I mean, if you could actually see the detail. I'll do some B-roll or something on this guy right here, or maybe some of the other covers, so you can actually get in here and see. But oh my goodness, this, this cover is fire. Absolute fire. I, this is probably my out of everything that once in future is pretty sick but this cover itself i mean just the artwork and the detail um it's awesome so yeah and both of those the watchers they were just sitting on the shelf and the the lcs on the east side of town i didn't get there till super late i'm like what is going on with our area do people not know what's going on with books or or what you know i was i was really surprised just to see these on the shelves so well guys, I think that was everything that we picked up this week. Um, you know, uh, let me know down below in the comments what you guys were able to pick up. Uh, let me know if you guys were able to find any of these. I know there was, um, what is it, Superman 14 and Supergirl 33, I think, were both recalled. Um, I know a lot of guys were talking about that and they were trying to find them. I wasn't able to find any, any at either of my LCSs. I know um, some of the guys were saying that they were ordered to be destroyed, but a lot of guys I've seen online were saying that their LCSs were still selling them for like 35, 40 bucks a pop, or just sending them over there to their eBay. So I'm curious if any of you guys were able to pick any of those up. Uh, the one I would be interested in is the, the Supergirl one because that cover is super fire. Um, I think I read somewhere that they're going to change the artist on that when they re-release it, which I don't know, let me know guys, I'm still new to the whole comic thing, you know, 20 years out, but um, I don't understand why they just wouldn't, you know, just use the same cover and just reprint it. Cause I think the issue was, it was that whole year of the villain banner or something on there, uh, wasn't supposed to be there and the, or they didn't want it on there or something. So I'm like, why can't you just take it off and, you know, resend out the same book. But um, yes, from what I understand, they're just gonna change the whole cover, I think, and they're gonna put a different artist on it. So that Supergirl one was super fire. And if they destroyed all of them, if you have one, it could be worth some money one day. So I'm curious if anybody was able to pick that up. Let me know. Let me know if you guys picked up anything else, what you're most excited to read this week. Also, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. Uh, once we get to 100 subscribers here on the channel, uh, we're gonna be doing our first giveaway. I think I might do like a random giveaway, maybe like something on the comments down below or something, but it's gonna be totally random. Uh, maybe when we get to like 50, like halfway through or something. But the actual giveaway that I wanna talk to you guys about today, I put it on our Instagram. So if you're not following us on our Instagram, you guys can go hit us up over there, at Ninja Dairy Comics. Um, but we're gonna be giving away, where is it? This guy right here? Yeah, that guy right there. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's the Absolute Carnage number one, the Mike Diodato sketch cover. Uh, we're gonna be giving that one away, um, and we'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, see ya. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, leave me some comments down below, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and check out one of these other cool videos.